question three there's a lot of work to do here uh, first of all we've got to find out when this is equal to x so I'm going to have to do this down here so I've got this is equal to x so I'm going to multiply that up to start with so I've got 2x squared minus x so I've got a quadratic to solve 2x squared minus x minus 3 to solve where's my calculator um, let's have a look uh, mode equation solver and what did I say I've got 2x squared minus x and a minus 3 so I'm getting two answers x is 3 over 2 and also x is minus 1 I'm just going to check they're both in range yes the range was for any values here so we have got two answers there 3 over 2 and minus 1. Uh, on we go. State the range of g of x. Well, if I'm going to think about the range, it's probably best to think about what that looks like. It is just an x squared graph that's been translated up 1, isn't it? And so the lowest point there we've got there is 1. And so I'd say that g of x is greater than 1. And as always, I think, can I get that 1 there? Yes, I can. So I'll have a g of x is greater than or equal to 1 find the composite function g of f of x so i'm going to be g'ing this so g'ing is squaring that so squaring that and then adding one um, so three squared is nine over two x minus one all squared plus 1. Now, does it say I've got to leave that in any particular form? I'll have a look. It's a bit underneath my calculator, isn't it? Uh, and state the domain. Okay, so the domain of this, um, we can't have something down here that makes that 0. So I'm going to put here x does not equal a half, because if you put a half in here, dividing by 0 in that isn't allowed. Um, I think that would do that. I'm not going to tidy that up. D. Find the inverse. So the inverse, that's when we write y equals 3 over 2x minus 1. We switch the letters over. And now we rearrange to try and get y back as the subject of the equation. So multiplying that up and multiplying that out. Uh, I'm going to add the x and finally divide by the 2x and so there's my inverse my inverse of x is going to be 3 plus x over 2x and again what would happen there is I wouldn't be able to have x is equal to 0 wouldn't be allowed because you can't divide by 0 there explain why g of x equals 0 has no solution. I think we've done that already with the sketch here, look, because uh, the range is greater than 1, and so uh, it doesn't ever meet 0. Explain why g of x has no inverse. Um, well, there'll be no inverse because this is a many-to-one function. So if we were said, I don't know, what happens here when x is 10, well, sorry, when g of x is 10, there'd be two different answers, 3 and minus 3. And so the answer to this one here is because it's not a one-to-one -one function. Only one-to-one -one functions have inverses. So there's a lot to do in that question. 